guys, how are you today? All right, we are here in my year 2017 working on July. Now, if you don't know what that is, you're watching this on your t YouTube and you're like, what the heck is she talking about? My year 2017 is a Facebook group that myself, Jerry Bellini, Cindy Utter, and Ann Williamson all teach in over on Facebook. It's free. It's a whole year long. We do all different kinds of art journaling and mixed media. I focus on this journal, which is my travel journal and my year-long journal where I document my life and things that have gone on, do little bits of artwork, that sort of thing. I kind of call it smash journaling. <laughs> um, and the other ladies do different things. Some of them are more plannery, some of them are very arty, um, and the students share what they're doing in the group too. Um, it's a lot of fun. The links for the group, if you would like to jo join, are in the description below. Now, um, if you want to know more about exactly what journal I'm using, what papers I'm using, and stuff like that, you have to be part of the group because that's all over there. Um, if I'm not discussing it here in the video, it's because it's over in the group. All right, so this is my <coughs> travel book, and I am going to finish May first. Well, at least work on May. I am filming this mid-June. I'm in the middle of construction at my house, so I have to film these little bits when I can. So I'm actually not finished with June yet, but I'm going to start um, working on July because I need to get July filmed and in the can, so to speak. So, okay, so this is what we have so far for June. And I am going to start um, this video by taking this out. This is one of our projects we had for June. And I am not going to use it in June. I'm going to use it in July. So we're going to set that aside. There were no uh, particular special um, family birthdays or anything um, in June um, this year that I'm aware of at this moment. That may change. I don't know. I'll have to look at my calendar in my wallet and see. So let's take some of these bits and pieces that I have over here that I've been accumulating. And I literally just take all my little bits and pieces of my life and I shove them in the bag with my book until the, until the bag gets full, to be honest. So I went to uh, my asthma doctors. I started seeing the asthma doctors recently, again, because I'm having issues. Um, and where I go is in a hospital, and so when you check in for your appointment, they give you a hospital, an armband. So we're going to put that in my journal. My daughter and her boyfriend just got back from a trip to New York City and they brought me some fun bits and pieces specifically to use in my journal and one of the things they brought my husband um, came in this um, you know Asian newspaper and so um, I think it might be I don't know what it is it might be girly ads or I don't know there's interesting pictures on it but I saved it I'm not sure if I want to use it or not but I thought it was interesting enough to hang on to for a little bit put that aside. Um, my husband and I went out to dinner and to Harry's Hofbrau and um, this is the parking ticket from picking the kids up at the airport which was in itself its own adventure. We also, my husband and I had a date night and we went to the movies so let's get all these fun things into my journal and for June and then we will start on July. I'm going to fast forward through a little bit of this process for June and I'll be right back.
so I got June done as far as I can do it right now like I said earlier this is mid-June so I'm actually not done with the month by any stretch I did want to put some of these paint swatches I did recently in here though um, including the new Daravan um, little small samples that my friend Cindy Utter sent me and the folk art um, color shift paints that I bought um, they are really fun paints so there's a video for that and um, I'll try to remember to link it in the description so you guys can watch it if you want here on YouTube it's not related to my year 2017 all right so this is our insert for July it's very plain there's not much to it right now so I do have a family wedding in July and I will be attending and so I am going to include this little journal in July because I plan on um, doing some journaling or something about the wedding in this and then including it in the month of July so I'm going to stick it in here right there and then we are going to decorate um, our July pages now <clears throat> I will tell you that for the month of July I did something really special and I created um, some special stuff for the month. I'm going to share with you it, it um, on the next video um, or later on in the week. So I'm not going to break them out right now but they, I, do, I have some particular ideas of what we're going to do. Um, this month we're going to celebrate our loved ones past and present and uh, whether they're human or furry or whatever they are whoever they are um, maybe you're very into genealogy and you want to use some of that in your work this month and celebrate um, your family tree um, maybe you want to celebrate your friends of the your family of the heart aka your friends um, you know take it however you can however you want to think outside the box and let's see what you can come up with now I'm going to take a bunch of these stickers and things that I, I just have shoved in the back of this journal. I think there's some washi tape in here somewhere too, some um, Jane Davenport actually stuff. Yep, see? So we're going to take some of these and we are going to decorate our June pages. There's also some napkins, but I think we're going to skip that for right now. <clears throat> and let's see what, oh I also have rub-ons, and let's see what we can do. Because we're celebrating loved ones, I'm going to use some of her faces here. This is These are some of her rub bonds her transfers. I think these would work really well with our theme this month where it has like a sketch of say a fake relative. <laughs> so I like that idea a lot actually. So I'm going to take one of her things. Let's see. Does it have a, yep. I'm going to take the backing paper off and I'm going to put her right here. That's really cute. All right. I mean, we all have these things, right? But then we don't use them. So let's use them. I'm going to put this one here. I got these at Michael's. Um, they should be pretty readily available still, I do believe. I don't think it's one of the things that she discontinued. I do. Um, I did notice recently that Michael's is carrying. Her, her line of products as part of their permanent collection. It's been given a permanent spot in the stores. And these come off really easy. These are working really well. More sheet so let's just use it up for the month I like this saying right here it says the joy of living is enough and the other one said um, laughter is a smile with the volume turned up that's cute so let's put this one here and I like the bird too Yeah. 
So if you don't have these, maybe you have some other rub-ons hiding in your old stash of scrapbooking supplies. Maybe use them. Maybe you want to add actual pictures of your loved ones. Um, maybe you want to make digital copies of said loved ones and um, then use those pictures. You can reduce them down in size and print them on sticker sheets. You could use them in, um, sort of like Tim Holtz's um, found family cards, his people. Let's see, I think I want to use... No. I was gonna, I was thinking something and yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Okay, let's put this one back here somewhere. I will tell you I've used a lot of rubbins in my time and they are not all created equally. These actually release really, really easily. So that used up all that, so yay. Those are fun. All right, that works. Now we need to add in something to put our um, book club book review on. So I need to put a tag or something in here. I'm actually considering cutting this golden fluorescent swatch that I did when I was comparing paint samples and putting this on. I, I really like that idea so let's do that. So I'm going to cut it down. And let's use some of the Jane Davenport washi strips. That's what these are. We're gonna pull them out of the I bought these quite a while ago. They've never even been out of the bag. All right. So let's see what we have, shall we? I like this one. Is it thick enough? Let's see, I think we have to use these. I think they're wider. So I'm gonna put it on one end of this. We're going to put it on the edge of the page. We're going to leave a little space. There we go. And then we're going to put another piece of tape. And we're going to hope it sticks throughout the month and that I don't need to put more glue. Sometimes the washi tapes and stickers um, are not as sticky as you would like them to be. So sometimes they don't stick too well, especially when they're being folded back and forth. So then you need to put a little bit of glue or Mod Podge or something underneath them. Okay, so we've got that in there. We need to put our to-do list on the back, right? So let me go find one, because I know I did print it. I don't know where it is, but I'll be right back. Okay, I got a printout of a book list that I'm gonna stick on the back of this swatch sample. It's just, I think, a little bit too big, but we're gonna make it work. It's just like a hair too long. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Okay. So we're gonna tape it to the back here and we're gonna center it up and down and side to side approximately. There we go. That works. I like that. So we're all ready to begin our month and to really celebrate this month our loved ones uh, per past and present, whether they're family members or very dear friends, children, or really anyone, furry children. And uh, yeah, let's go forward seeing what we can do. I know the other teachers have already brought you some great content, so hopefully I can think up some interesting, fun things for you all to do. All right, that's it for today. If you'd like to join My Year 2017 or my other Facebook group, or support my channel by shopping in the Etsy shop or just sending in a tip to my tip jar, 
All the links for all that stuff and my happy mail address, all that stuff, it's in the description below. So check it out. If I forget to put links to other videos I've promised to do, which does happen more often than I'd like to admit, put a comment and let me know that I forgot the link and I'll add it in. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.